Well, I, I really thought I was winning the last two rounds, so uh, I was kind of sure. But, of course, I didn't want to split the decision. So in my mind, I was like, yeah, it is what it is, but uh, we got the victory. So that's that's what matters. Yeah, so I, I think my, my corner kind of helped me a lot on that adjustments I did in the last three and last round, last third round and the second round. Uh, kind of switch it up and uh, put more pressure, like they were saying, try to put pressure in the third round because definitely the, the first round we didn't got it. But uh, I think those adjustments made um, my game over her. I mean, I, I prove like in everyday training, you know, for me it's a, it's a war every time. The wake up, the fights. Uh, so uh, I think every fight is going to surprise me a little bit more and it's going to make me a better fighter and kind of change and be different for my next one because, uh, you know, you have to kind of change your game. If not, people are going to start reading you and kind of understand you as a fighter. So uh, definitely different version of what people saw last time and definitely different from what they're going to see in the future. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, I came in a bit more calm than I than I expected. The, you know, the stadium, the card itself, man, uh, everything was just so much. So going into it, I controlled my breathing pretty well. So I was very, uh, very, very, you know, uh, put together. And I was real excited about it. I think it helped me in the fight. So, yeah, I knew it was going to be dangerous with, with, dangerous with Justin. Uh, he's a good boxer, so it's kind of hard to get in his range. A bit taller. Uh, we had a game plan, so I stuck to the game plan a few times. You know, I, th I threw, uh, you know, so, some uh, flashy stuff because uh, uh, I did want to kind of showcase what I was actually capable of. I think I'm, you know, better than what I actually showed in there. So, uh, you know, I, I hope I can put on better shows for you guys. Uh, but you know, I was I was very excited about my performance. Yeah, we're we're throwing back and forth a little bit. I knew I, I knew he he had some respect for me. I had some respect for him. You know, before the fight, you know, non head smiling. But you know, I could tell he was kind of respecting my power. A lot of people think I'm a smaller light heavyweight, but I do pack a punch. You know, and I and I think he understood that. Uh, so I think he was also hesitant on coming in, which worked for my game plan. So it was you know it was good. Tonight uh, it's gonna. I said it in my first interview, uh, some alcohol, maybe a burger and, you know, some in and out burger and coming back in some Swenson's and, uh, you know, some donuts, you know, tomorrow, probably something nasty. Uh, I don't, you know, no, no specific person in mind. I, I know the UFC is going to take care of that. They did. This is a great matchup for me. They did a good job. I didn't even say anything, you know, so I'm just going to count on them. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go back in the gym and keep training, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, honestly, it was just enjoying every moment. You know, I've been practicing it for quite some time, and, you know, that starts, t you know, driving to the, the venue in the locker room, the warm-up, and just enjoying my walkout song and the audience and every moment. What that does is slows down, and uh, I was able to see everything that he was doing once I was in there. Time was just moving really slow, and so I was just reacting, responding. Honestly, the ingredients are already in the oven, so we're just going to see how it turns out, and then it was fantastic. You know, I've been, uh, you know, imagining, envisioning this moment since I was like 12 years old, right? So people ask me the question, you know, what does it feel like being in the UFC? Like, it's expected, you know, and I have these extreme goals and, and you know, requirements of myself and it's now coming into fruition. And uh, yeah, so I just, I see more, a lot more. I loved it. Uh, my Instagram, my social media was just blowing up with like all his fans, you know, I, and honestly, whether it's positive or negative, they're for me or against me, like just watch the fight. And like, I, like and so, you know, hopefully with my respect and my positive attitude and the way I fight, I'm able to adopt a lot of these fans. And, uh, you know, I just want anyone, whether they want me to win or not, to just enjoy my performances. I mean, if I can fight the champ, it'd be great. And then he worked that way my way down that list. I'll, I mean, I'll fight anyone, but, uh, you know, I'm just here to have fantastic fights. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to sit around and wait for the perfect fight so I'm just gonna get one as soon as possible and we're gonna keep having performances like this yes I kind of thought the whole fight will go the way the first round went you know mm -hmm. but I felt um, him breathing a little bit heavy I don't know if it had anything to do with the weight cut or anything because from the videos I saw he, I know he got a lot of gas you know I got a lot of gas too so I thought he was gonna like just gas it out until the third you know but um, the second round, I think um, once I got him down, he kind of didn't have a lot for me on the ground. But then in the third round, he brought that gas back, you know, and I expect nothing less from him. He's a warrior. So it, it's, it's a good fight, you know. It was a solid win for sure. And I think I, I did show that I belong at the top of the division. Andre got a lot of solid wins out there, and I'm glad I was able to beat him. one of the people who beat him. The secret, the cat's finally out of the bag, you know, because everybody just thought I was a striker. But... The secret is, if anybody do deep research on me, mm -hmm. 
they know who Mike Coach is, you know. He's not, his name is not something small in the grappling community. And the fact is, I train with him more than I train with any one of my other coaches. I train with him more than I do boxing. I train with him more than I do kickboxing or Muay Thai. I'm there every single day. And I finally got to um, show my BJJ skills and I'm glad that everybody was impressed. Not right now. I'm going to go back and talk with my coaches about it. Right now, it's just about healing up. You know, I really kind of, my mom's in a um, audience, you know, so I kind of just want to go to her and give her a big giant hug, you know. I'm still hoping that we could get some, uh, like a performance of the night bonus, you know. It'll really change my life, and I really want to, that money will go towards a lot of good stuff, man. Yeah. It'll also be nice to be the first person in my family to see six figures, you know, so <laughs> that, that, would be, that would be enjoyable. I feel really good about my performance. Very accomplished, you know, I, I trained very hard leading up to this fight. Spent a lot of time doing all aspects, you know, my, my wrestling, my clinch work, my jiu-jitsu, awesome coaches, John Wood, AJ Matthews, Mike Pyle, Lorenzo, Pavlika. Man, I've always felt very stiff, you know, striking, and uh, the game plan going into this fight, you know, my coach John Wood helped me come up, to, gave me this plan, said like lots of footwork, lots of movement. I was really hoping that I'd feel more comfortable and moving and stuff and the opportunities would be there. And it was, it happened, it was true. Uh, I did feel more confident going into those later rounds. Um, John said, don't go down, but I went down there. <laughs> I mean, I know, I feel like if I can get half guard, I'm very good there. You know, I, uh, Mike Pyle taught me a lot of half guard stuff and I, I want to finish by elbows. It's like my favorite finishing style. So I, I wanted it. My real fans put a bet on me. So I hope they're very rich right now. I mean, I'm not afraid of anybody. Uh, in, my, in the flyweight division, as long as they make weight, you know, show up, make weight. Um, you know, I'm just getting better and better. So I just hope to fight a lot this this year. Um, I'm ready, I'm getting better and better. Uh, uh, that's that was uh, the work, you know, we've been planning to do uh, the whole camp. You know, me, my team, and uh, Forges MMA and Team Fajita Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we we did it, you know, and uh, it's it's a big deal for me, you know. I don't I don't see uh, nobody submitted him before. And uh, I'll, uh, on the UFC, I'll, I'll be the first one, you know, and that's really big for me. I, I, I came to be the, like, I do an impact on, on my division, and I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm doing my job, you know, and I'm excited to see what's going to be next now. Yeah, the results is much more like, uh, 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 great, like great for me because uh, we've been doing a lot of work, you know, in the last uh, five uh, five years we've been together me and my coach we we've been going through ticket 10 you know like hard works hard fights but you know we got to the, the momentum we 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 taken advantage my team like been always behind me support me and i just have to say thanks to every single one like damien uh neil you know all alex moreno you know victor martinez luke flores and all those guys like damn i can't say like so much work they put like for me and and, and sacrifice and and I can show them like how much uh, brave I am right now and uh, what I'm looking for now is just getting you know get a rank and see what's gonna be next for me I don't have, whatever fight I, I'm waiting to fight I I cannot start calling people out yet I, I think I have to you know pass one more step and uh, say okay now it's time to start calling people out. Yeah, we knew, you know, he had good striking. That's where he's mostly comfortable. But he also has arm bars off his back. And I landed in guard. The plan was to land, you know, to the side mount. But I landed in guard, so I had to kind of withstand that and try to just land ground and pound, make him uncomfortable. And he was active off his back, too. But uh, once he opened his legs, I passed. Felt really comfortable there. And, uh, you know, I, I, once you leave your neck out, I head hunt and I take advantage of it. So that's what I did. Yeah, for sure. You know, number one, getting bumped to the main card was cool. You know, you get that opportunity. You got to take advantage. And and, um, you know, to get the finish is always my goal. So, you know, with him being a prospect, I was like, my back's against the wall. I got to keep my job. This is my time to do it. You know, let's knock out a prospect and show I'm still, I still belong here. Yeah, you know, I, in my head, I was going to look for it no matter what. You know, I knew, like, I have a size advantage. I think I was a little bit stronger and that I could feel it too, you know. So once I grabbed the hold of his leg and I felt that strength difference, I was like, all right, I'm going to have a good day, you know, down on the ground. And that's what happened. Yeah, man, you know, they say don't waste call out. So I, I, didn't, I was going to call out Sean O'Malley for April 18th in Brooklyn. I know he's fighting in February, I believe, so if he gets a good win and gets a quick turnaround, we can still do it. So I wouldn't mind some Sean O'Malley action in, uh, in Brooklyn, uh, um, what's it, April 18th, yeah. I always want to do more, you know, I mean, no punches really landed and no, on, you know, I feel fine, I'm healthy, I'm moving forward, so that's always good and that's what we want to do is just 
you know, kind of take away their offense. And she's kind of a scrappy fighter, a counter fighter, and so we wanted to avoid some of, you know, her strengths. And we did that, <laughs> but I definitely wanted to be more, uh, just do a little more damage, but we're still moving forward. You know, we just were going to take the fight wherever it went. Uh, she kind of, uh, I think, kind of went in. I, if I remember, I think she kind of engaged kind of more towards that clinch uh, in the first round, and I was able to dominate her there. So I thought, well, let's work from here then. Um, why I mess with something if it's working, you know, but I wanted to do more damage there, yeah. um, which, you know, there's always next time. I just, yeah, I want, I want something big. I want knockouts. Yeah. I want, I want stuff like that, you know, and, and I just know things that um, I could have done better. And, and that's what it is. I always want to keep learning. And, and I'm glad I feel that way, you know, because that means I'm still evolving. I think the only thing that this fight really shows, you know, Raquel usually makes like a, a, a scrap out of a fight. And I feel like I was able to kind of control her. I just didn't do it in as much, um, you know, strength as I wanted to as far as striking, so. We are backstage with Conor McGregor. Conor, you just had a beautiful moment with your team in here, your friends and family. You have to be feeling on top of the world after a finish like that so quickly after a 15-month layoff. Mm. How you feeling? Yeah, I feel really good, you know. Still more work to do, you know. I'm happy with where I'm at and where I've got to. Um, Onwards we go. You know, when you uh, started doing the, the shoulder shrugs there, yeah. went, what, went, what went through my mind was the mean mugs and shoulder shrugs, because that's what I felt like was happening <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. Um, we separated, I saw the nose was bust and the eye was bust. I was like, they were tasty shots. It's a good, it's a good shot, the shoulder. I wonder will all the so-called experts say, oh, he's just a left shoulder. You know the way they say, he's just a left hand. <laughs> right. The right. absolute disrespect of them and the absolute lack of n true knowledge that they ha these men have that they be saying these type of things. So, Was that part of the game plan? I mean, what uh, your team was so confident all week long, and we could just tell at weigh-ins that they knew something the rest of us didn't know. Um, was that the game plan, come in there and, and to immediately do that? No, no, de no, definitely not, you know. I had many ways, and I was, I was ready to utilize all my weapons, all my arsenal, you know what I mean, including the wrestling, including the grappling, you know, so ready to showcase my skills, that's it. And I felt Donald does some things that's susceptible to a high kick also, you know what I mean? I know he was planning to head kick me in the head, but I thought, you know, I may very well kick him in the head, so. And I did, and I'm very happy with that. He holds a phenomenal, breathtaking record of most, no most head knockouts by head kick. I'm like, that is a serious, that, that record alone is probably worth more than a world title, in my mind, you know what I mean? Didn't to have the most head kick knockouts it's in, in the UFC, that's insane. But I, f I felt like he was coming for that, and I was, I was going to surprise him with my own one, so happy days, I got him. Beat him to the punch. Um, it still seemed like there was so much respect between you and yeah. Donald. I mean, um, I know you went over to, to him once once it was all over. Yeah. What's that relationship like? Yeah, I like Donald very much. You know what I mean? He's a, how can you not look at his about his records? And that's a phenomenal fighter, a phenomenal man. He has his kid up a bit late, the old danger. I, 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 he's just, I know he's a bit young and he doesn't really understand. He wouldn't understand the times and things like that as well. But I had to leave Junior at home and create at home because it, I could have brought Korea, to be honest because she doesn't really understand, you know what I mean? But right. Junior's at the age where he kind of does understand, but then he also doesn't, so... And it's late as well, after yeah. 10 o'clock, so I was like, I'll just leave them at home. But I would have loved in that moment, like the way he, ha he has that moment with his family, uh, his kids, and, or his kid. And um, now I have a lot of respect for Donald. And, um, he'll have my support for my entire... For, forever, you know what I mean? He's, we have a lot of respect for Donald on our side Thank and his team. Said so beautifully. Um, how did it feel making that walk? You know, it's been a long layoff over 15 months. So many celebrities in the crowd. You know, there's so much energy in there. Did it feel any different this time around? Uh, it feels the same. It's just good, it's good to get it back under the belt. You know, when I put him down, I kind of jumped on, on him a little bit. I would have liked to, I could hear my coach then settle and pick the shot. And then I stepped around the head, pinned the head, and found the shots, you know. So that would be from being out, the, out too long, you know, where you'd rush that little bit. You get that bit of excitement in that. So, still work to be done, you know. Um, I've done some phenomenal work this camp. I got myself a lovely spot, you know, but sustaining the workload was very difficult, to be honest, you know, because I was pushing myself so hard. There was times where I was seeing gray. My vision was turning gray. I was working that hard, you know what I mean, on, on, on the McGregor Fast program, like really pushing myself, and I'd have to, I'd hit a brick wall, and I'd have to take four to five to six days off, and then come back, and I just couldn't sustain the workload I was, I was putting, you know what I mean? So, now that I have that, under my belt, I'm going to go back and I'm, I'm going to be able to sustain the workload more. You know what I mean? So I'm very excited about that. And I'm, I'm not going to dwell on this too much. I'm very happy for, for us all. And But 
on, on which and of which we go. Quite the perfectionist there. Obviously, there were fighters in the crowd that are interested in fighting you. Um, if you get to, to pick your next shot here in terms of when or who, um, leaning towards anything in specific? The who doesn't matter, you know? Who the f is that guy? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I'd be saying to most of them, realistically, really, you know what I mean? Man, I just feel like the whole world lights up and I've been making that walk. It's wild, man. It's really just, I, I could just feel the energy on fight day. I was on, on my phone looking through the social media and I was having a cup of tea, just chilling in my house before, when I just woke up and I could just feel the energy. Not everything I saw was about the fight from all over the world. It's like the world just lights up when it's going down. So it's, and I'm just, I'm just me. I don't see it any different. You know what I mean? I'm just coming to try and better myself as a martial artist, have a, have a knock, have a buzz with the, with the people that I'm training with and that. Um, so, the who does it matter for me to win? Soon enough, I would say. You know, uh, the, there was a date that we thought, I think it was March, or I think it was March, maybe there was a date available. Um, look, we'll see what happens. I'm going to enjoy myself tonight, spend time with the kids, show my son Junior the, the fight on the <laughs> TV and see what he thinks, see how he reacts, uh -huh. and um, back training there straight away the next day after. So. William, you had a record with yet another knockout in your third division, but you also had the fourth largest gate ever tonight. So you now hold seven of the ten largest gates in UFC history. They all belong to you. Um, almost 11 million. It, it could have actually been 11 with walk-ups towards the end of the night, but uh, it was leading right towards 11. So congratulations on that as well. It's an honor to come here to Las Vegas and host these ma major events. I'm very grateful for the hospitality of Las Vegas and the American people to myself and the Irish that come over here traveling. And it's our pleasure to come over here and flash the cash, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the credit union's cash. <laughs> but uh, it's, a, it's an honor. We have a great time here and long may it continue. Yeah, and they will all be out celebrating with you tonight, I am Thank sure. Congratulations. Thank Beautiful you. performance, Connor. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.